far as the special forces or uh, other units, the operational advice that we've given to, uh, to the services across the board is to look at those missions and identify what that right risk balance is between the medical risk and the operational requirements. And so different units have come up with different solutions to that to mitigate the risk to force while preserving mission capabilities. It's not a one-size-fits-all. It, it very much depends on what that specific unit's mission is and how best to support it going forward. But as we've looked at the plans, I think they're all solid plans, at least the ones that I've seen, and they, in, they involve everything from doing shift work or having certain people work together for two weeks in a location and then you know work from home, trading teams in and out, uh, much as commercial companies are doing so that you don't have everybody in one place at one time kind of common sense things to uh, minimize the risk that an entire crew or an entire unit might be impacted at one time if someone gets sick.